Permit us to have our system. Your Excellency, Uru Kenyatta, the President of the Republic of Kenya, as well as the Chairman of the East African Community, His Excellency, Your Excellency, Yuri Kaguta Mseveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency, Paul Kagame, Your Excellency, Felix Antonio Shilidi, the President of the Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, as well as the Chairperson, the Chairman of the East African Community, the Attorney General of Kenya, uh, Ministers and Delegates from Kenya, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, uh, Southern Sudan, Uganda, as well as Tanzania, uh, ambassadors, uh, heads of delegations, uh, diplomats, uh, secretary general of the East African community, different uh, heads of government and authority, uh, different leaders that are joining us um, in different platforms, whether online, um, all protocols observed. Your Excellency, allow me to take this opportunity to give this opportunity to the Minister of Commerce, who is also the President of the East African Community, uh, Your Honor, uh, Betty Mauna, Maina, to welcome uh, you after welcoming the Chairperson. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Chairperson. The East African Summit, Your Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Your Excellencies, members of the summit, President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda, President Paul Kagame of uh, Rwanda, the President of the DRC, Your Excellency, President Shikedi, colleague cabinet secretaries and visiting ministers, the Secretary General of the East African Community, Dr. Peter Maduki, guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of President Kenyatta, I welcome you all to Kenya and to this occasion. We extend a special welcome to those of us and those of you who are joining us online. On behalf of the Council of Ministers, I thank you, President Kenyatta, the chairperson of the Summit of the East African Community, for convening this ceremony to sign the Treaty of Accession between the EAC and the Democratic Republic of Congo here in State House, Nairobi. Allow me to extend the Council's appreciation to their excellencies, the summit of the EAC Heads of State. Last Tuesday, during your 19th extraordinary summit held on the 29th of March, you made the landmark decision to admit the DRC into the ESC. Hongereni Sana. The people of the East African community are eager to reconnect with their brothers and sisters in the DRC, with whom they share common historical, linguistic, and sociocultural and economic ties. 
your excellencies. Today's event is the culmination of a series of events that began with the DRC's application to join the East African community in 2019. The council has made steady progress in processing this application due to the political goodwill at the highest levels as demonstrated by yourselves. And following the directives of the summit, the Council of Ministers has overseen the process of vetting and negotiation with the DRC. Therefore, the Council commends the summit for the decision to admit the DRC into the community. The signing of the Treaty of Accession of the DRC into, uh, into the community will formally herald their journey as a new member of the community. The Treaty of Accession that you will be signing summarizes the negotiations between ourselves and the DRC, and the Treaty of Accession that, uh, that we're signing is drawn from the Treaty of the East African Community and captures the commitments made by both the EAC and the DRC. Your Excellencies, you will recall that the summit directed the Council to develop the roadmap for full integration of the DRC into the community, which will be at a stage of the common market when they fully accede. The council gives the undertaking that it will fully support this integration. We shall work hand in hand with the DRC and we will prioritize the accession to all the protocols, policies and programs of the community. And the council undertakes to brief the ES, uh, the summit at your meetings of this progress. And with those few remarks, allow me, Your Excellencies, to welcome the Secretary General to make some remarks. Thank you very much. Your Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, and the chairperson of the East African Community Heads of State Summit, Your Excellency Yoerika Guta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, Your Excellency Felix Intoneshi Shikedi Shirombo, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and your entire delegation. The Honorable Betty Maina, Chairperson of East African Council of Ministers, and all the Honorable Ministers here present, distinguished permanent secretaries, distinguished High Commissioners and Ambassadors, the Chairperson of the East African Business Council, Nick Nesbitt, here present, distinguished representatives of development partners, distinguished representatives of regional international organizations, my colleagues from the East African Legislative Assembly, the Honorable, right Honorable Speaker Martin Goga, and the Judge President, uh, Nesto Kayobera, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, today marks a momentous stage in the growth of the community as we all converge to witness the accession of the Democratic Republic of Congo to the Treaty for the Establishment of the East African Community. I wish to appreciate in a very special way the summit of heads of state for a deep commitment in providing impetus to regional integration and guidance that you've continued to give to us, to the community, and in particular, your strategic decision to admit DRC into the East African community. I, on the same breath, wish to congratulate His Excellency Felix Shikedi, Shilombo, and the people of DRC for admission of DRC into the community. Allow me on behalf of the community, therefore, to salute your excellencies for the continued support that you continue to give and the vision that you're going to render to the community. Your strategic direction and impetus are seeing the community grow bigger, stronger, and even more united. Your Excellencies, you recall, as the Chair has said, 19th Extraordinary Summit, the order 29th March 2022, admitted DRC as a full member of the East African community. The summit designated Your Excellency President Uru Kenyatta in your capacity as a chairperson of the East African Community Summit Heads of State to sign the Treaty of Accession of Democratic Republic of Congo to the treaty establishing the East African Community by, by 14th April, 2022, with His Excellency President 
Antoinette Shikedi Shirombo, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo. I wish to appreciate Your Excellency, President Uru Kenyatta and President uh, Shashikedi Shirombo for the speed at which you mutually agreed to meet and sign the accession treaty, which the summit had envisaged to be done by 14th, but then you chose to do today, the 8th of April. I wish to congratulate you. Upon signing the accession of the treaty today, DRC will have until 29th September 2022, that is six months, to undertake its internal and constitutional processes to ratify the treaty and submit to the Secretary General of the community. Subsequently, the DRC will join all the programs and activities in line with the four pillars of regional integration. The roadmap for integration of DRC into the EAC, Your Excellencies, the summit again of the heads of state directed the council to develop a roadmap to integrate DRC fully into the community. The roadmap is going to be developed by the East African Community Secretariat together with the DRC. Your Excellencies, the mission of DRC to the community has made now the region expand from six partner states to seven partner states. The expanded membership makes the community bigger with close to almost 50% increase in population, 22% increase in GDP, 79% expanded territorial area, spanning from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean. This milestone presents numerous opportunities for the people of wider East Africa to take advantage of opportunities in trade, agriculture, manufacturing, technology, natural resources, education, and other sectors of mutual interest. DRC's entry requires integrating our trade infrastructure in the model connectivity, one-stop border post, immigration and trading systems to increase the cross-border efficiency. Expansion of the community will improve the quality of lives and prosperity of our people in East Africa. Your Excellencies, as I conclude, I wish to assure Your Excellencies of the commitment of the ESC Secretariat to ensure that DRC is fully and quickly integrated in the community. Excellencies, heads of state, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you, Asante Nisana. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General, for those remarks and undertakings. And with that, I would now like to take this opportunity to welcome the chair of the summit to make his remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President Uhuru Kenyatta. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Thank you. Your Excellency, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency, President Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, Your Excellency, Felix Antoine Tshisekedi Tshilombo, President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Chairperson of the East African Council of Ministers, Honorable Ministers, the East African Secretary General, Honorable Peter Mazuki, ladies and gentlemen, and we begin by welcoming you all to Nairobi, Kenya. And at the foremost, I take this opportunity to welcome my brothers, President Museveni and President Kagame for finding time off their busy schedules to join us today to witness this momentous occasion, the accession of the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the East African community. I once again thank you, my fellow leaders, for your solidarity and commitment to the vision of our community. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today's event is truly historic. The signing of the Treaty of Accession 
by the Democratic Republic of the Congo marks the formal entry into the East African community, having satisfied the conditions set under Article 3 and 4 of our treaty and following its admission during our virtual extraordinary summit held on the 29th of March this year. And to get this point, and to get to this point, it has taken strong leadership, a commitment to the ideals of the East African Community Integration Agenda, and a clear understanding of the shared benefits that come from working together. In this context, I recognize our elder brother, His Excellency Yuri Kaguta Museveni, for the zeal with which he galvanized support from member states for the DRC to join the East African community. We have already begun to realize the promise of the East African community, the free movement of people, goods, and service across the community has boosted trade and strengthened people-to-people -people ties, thus enabling us to harness the comparative strength of each member state for the benefit of all and to confront and solve problems together. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the accession of the DRC as a member of the East African community will even more elevate these gains and more importantly, it will strengthen our economic muscle and competitive competitiveness in the continent as well as globally. To my brother and friend, President Tshikedi, and to the people of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, we welcome you to the East African Community Customs Union and the East African Community Common Market. These two are the signature pillars of our community and the foundation upon which the social, political, trade, investment, and economic interests stand. In the coming days, our ministers and technical experts will indeed move with speed to integrate the DRC into the organs of our community. We have in this context ongoing integration tasks in all sectors. They include the East African Court of Justice, the East African Legislative Assembly, and sectoral committees on essential matters like trade, industry, finance, agriculture, defense, security, education, infrastructure, science and technology, aviation, health, and international cooperation, among others. We shall also develop a mechanism for the speedy ratification by DRC of the admission of the submissions of the community to the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement processes. As agreed by EAC partner states, the joint submission by the EAC will strengthen our voice in the African Continental Free Trade Area. So your excellencies in welcoming DRC to our community, we are opening wide the doors of opportunity and expanded trade and cooperation. With the accession of the DRC, our community's population now stands at above 300 million and our combined gross domestic product stands at some 250 billion US dollars. The accession signature immediately brings DRC into the realms and provisions of all the protocols and regional policies of the East African community. 
It will be followed by the immediate removal of all the existing non-tariff barriers, as well as limitations on the movement of capital, goods, services, and people. This will in time lead to a major increase in intra-East African community trade. On her part, the Democratic Republic of Congo is by this deed required to honor the attendant commitments and allow me to appeal to the DRC to conclude the remaining domestic processes as per your constitution and to deposit the instruments of ratification within the stipulated six month period. Your excellencies, our community is people centered and private sector driven. Member states of the East African community remain committed to advancing and promoting the private sector's interests as provided under Article 127 of our treaty. Furthermore, partner states have committed to stimulating market development through infrastructural linkages, promoting conducive investment codes, protecting property rights and other rights, and the proper regulation of our private sector. Towards this end, all partner states will welcome and establish immediate linkages between our business associations and those of the Democratic Republic of Congo so as to further develop our trade relations. In furtherance of the summit directive, I also do expect the council to furnish us at our next meeting, the roadmap for the integration of the DRC into our community. So your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today, as we said, marks a historic day. We now have a community that is bigger in size than Europe and almost the same population with abundant resources, with skilled, youthful manpower and woman power, our ability to be a giant, not only in East Africa, but in the globe, rests in our hands. Indeed, President Museveni, as you consistently remind us, it is not interesting to be a small fish in a small pond. We want to be now a big fish in a big sea. And this we can be, and all we need to do is to work together as leaders, work together first and foremost for the peace and security that leads to the stability that we need in order for us to develop the prosperity that lies ahead for all of us. Less noise, more work, more opportunity, more prosperity for our integrated region. And I am sure that together with my colleagues, this shall be our driving agenda. We have more in common than the Europeans do. This is a fact. We share common languages. We share common culture. The only thing that divided us were the colonial boundaries. You go to France and you go to wherever, you go to Europe, they are fighting over 20 different languages. Here we're in agreement. Our language is Swahili. These other languages are languages that we use just for communication. But sooner or later, our language will be Swahili. That is our region's language. Our cultures are similar. There is no reason if we work hand in hand together 
why we cannot be stronger and more economically pro prosperous than Europe or any of the other global regional associations. It is on us and the work that we do together and the support that we give each other. Therefore, in conclusion, and on behalf of the Summit of Heads of State of the East African Community, I today applaud our brother, His Excellency Felix Antoine Tshikedi Tshilombo for his exemplary leadership and stewardship of the DRC, and indeed for his wise decision to lead his country to becoming a full member of the East African community. Congratulations, dear brother, for leading the DRC to this milestone. And I hope to welcome you soon to our next ordinary summit as a full member. Long live the Democratic Republic of Congo. Long live the East African community. One people, one destiny. Asante Nisana, thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to invite his Excellency Felix Antoine Tshikedi Tshilombo, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, to deliver his statement. Karibu sana, Your Excellency, for your statement. Karibu. Your Excellency, Mr. Excellence, Monsieur Yoeri Kabuta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda. The President, Your Excellency, Mr. Paul Kagame, the President of the Republic of Rwanda. Uh, um, the president uh, of the Council of Ministers of the East African Community the, and uh, the other ministers and uh, also the representative of the uh, Eastern African Legislation Assembly and also the president of the African the Court of Justice, the Secretary General of the Community of East Africa, uh, the, the, uh, the invited guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I would like before uh, and on behalf of the people of Congo and on my own behalf to thank you for the warm welcome that you have given me and my delegation during the ceremony of signing the treaty uh, for my country within the community, the East African community. My presence in this event is consolidating the event that we have undertaken to be members and which was taken in 29th March during the 19th extraordinary meeting of the summit. And so I promised to, 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 to actually implement everything so that this uh, membership can be concretized during my first mandate as the president of the country. So this signing ceremony has actually concretized what I expressed myself uh, to, during uh, the, uh, my, my remarks uh, during the integration of the DRC in the Eastern African community. And so today, the, the, the common project has now been achieved. 
And in fact, this membership contributes in the consolidation of economic benefits of our countries and also access by our population to, to the cooperation that is more strengthened even further. And so for today, uh, uh, of signing this uh, treaty of becoming a member of the East African community, the DRC renews its commitment expressed through my voice, uh, uh, that is, that was done on 29th last month, where which uh, that is to work uh, so that we can develop our community and especially through optimizing uh, the, 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 the agro economical activities in our countries and also opportunities of cooperation that are, should be exploited uh, for the well-being of our population. And so this means uh, that without a doubt, uh, our, our, our will uh, to work for, the, uh, for the, our people and also with people who are the determined to work in a collaborative manner. And so distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, our demographics and also our geostrategic position, the mission of the DRC in the community offers many advantages, comparative advantages that are important for, for the sustainability and also for the continuity. And so, for example, that we can cite the extension of the internal market, which is supported by the, the, pay, the GDP that is going to improve and also and enlarging the community that starts from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean with the competitive competitiveness of accessing the area of the uh, the African free trade trade area and so the DRC uh, will actually play its role within the community so that it can become even stronger and more prosperous and uh, 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 the, our guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today my country would like to reiterate its uh, position in creating a new institution that is the cooperation agencies for managing natural uh, resources. Uh, within which is going to be linked to research and the management and also optimizing the environment natural resources of the sub region and and which we wish to bring to the uh, uh, to the headquarters and so this agency will play an important role in implementing the project uh, and one of the big projects that is in the 2025 agenda of Africa. And so we should, my country is, is, is in, within the basin, within Congo, and that is from the Nile, and also uh, to be shared by the seven members of the community. Contribuera certainement à l'interconnexion de ces deux bassins et à l'exploitation optimale. Also, the exploitation of resources that we have. Par ailleurs, dans le contexte de la transition énergétique. Uh, check, check one two, check one two. Uh, this war against uh, climate change, this will play a, a very important role in terms of uh, mitigation against uh, climate change and climate effects. Um, uh, distinguished kids, the ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is in place now other different aspects um, uh, that uh, come to my very particular attention during this uh, uh, 
uh, signature, I mean, sig uh, uh, signing this uh, treaty, this is linked to peace as well as internal and external peace and security in our different uh, frontiers or borders. Beyond our community, the Congolese people, we do not only want to benefit from intercommunitary, intercommunitary, I mean, uh, co trade, but first of all, we want uh, commerce and trade to be based on the peace and security of everyone. This makes it such that today the, the Congolese people are of the idea that the foreign uh, policy should be more focused on uh, the Congolese people. We also uh, expect the same from other people, the respect or conformity to peace and security of our people, without which we will not be able to realize or achieve the objectives uh, within the committee. Then this is the objective that we have as a people that uh, uh, jointly, as we sign um, this treaty today, our country uh, are signing this to renew our attachment or rather engagement towards peace as we become part of the uh, East African uh, uh, people that God may bless our community. Uh, East African community. The Mungu ibariki jumui ya yetu. Thank you so much, Your Excellencies. It is now my singular humble duty to request uh, His Excellency Honorable Uru Kenyatta, the President of the Republic of Kenya, kindly to take his seat. And also request humbly the President of the Republic, uh, Democratic uh, Republic of Congo, His Excellency uh, Felix Antonio Tshikiri, to also kindly take his position. To come for the podium to sign the treaty. Your Excellencies uh, will be witnessing. Thank you, Excellencies. I also most humbly wish to request the council to the community and the legal team to step forward and guide Your Excellencies on signature, the legal team and the council. I also invite the SG to witness. Cancer to the community, kindly guide their excellencies on signing of the treaty and the community. Thank you, Cancer to the community. Thank you, Your Excellencies. I'll request a, a copy each. A copy each as the exchange.
Let us appreciate their excellencies after annexing the copy. I'll invite. More Hatia Club, a lot of applause for the newborn baby in the community, DRC Congo. I'll invite His the Excellencies at the center. As you give a more Hatia Club, this week, ladies and gentlemen. More Hatia Club, it's a good day, it's an, an memorable day for us as a community. We thank God. Asante. Thank you. We might be seated. Take our seat, yes. I'll now most humbly wish to request His Excellency. Please, the rest of us can be seated kindly. We'll be seated. I now most humbly wish to request the chairman of the summit to hand over a signed copy uh, already has given to His Excellency. He will hand over a second copy to the Secretary General. A copy, SG, to this SG. Let us appreciate uh, the Secretary General for the good job uh, he's doing for the community. Thank you. I also request that the, the chairman be given a copy. And uh, it will be under the custodian of the chair. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Back to Madam Chair. So congratulations, uh, Your Excellencies, for that wonderful ceremony. And we thank our police band for adding some color to this event. Uh, with your permission, Your Excellency, we notice that you are joined by your colleagues, the members of uh, summit. And uh, we would like to hear from them. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. So with that, may I invite His Excellency, President Yoweri Museveni, to make his remarks. His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, and the Chairperson of the Summit, His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of Rwanda, Member of the Summit, His Excellency Antoine Chisekedi Shirombo, President of DRC, and now a new member. The chair person spoke. I don't know why you want so many people to speak. <laughs> to dilute words. But I just want to remind Africans, because Africans need a lot of reminding. I don't know why. That when we talk of integration, we are talking of three things. Number one, prosperity. It's not about leaders and ministers and council because you spend a lot of time on those. Council, ministers, what secretary general. This is about families, families of Africans. It's what we are talking about. The question is, if I am a businessman or a businesswoman and I produce a good or a service, how many people will buy from me? That's the issue. In order for my family, forget about ministers, presidents, what, what? The families. 
I have a business. I have produced a good or a service. The good thing in Africa is that people are asleep. When you are asleep, it is also good because you don't know what you are missing. Now, Ugandans were asleep for a long time. And that's why they were busy with the tribes, with the religion, divided. When our group came and woke them up, they have started producing a little bit. They are still asleep, but they are waking up a bit. So when they start producing, like me, I am a cattle keeper. I produce beef, I produce uh, milk, I produce bananas. Uganda already has a surplus of all those. We're producing 2.8 billion liters of milk. Uganda is consuming only 800 million. Surplus of 2 billion. Where do you sell it? If you don't sell it, prosperity will not grow. The same with maize, the same with industrial products. So this is the first thing. If you want prosperity in Africa, the way forward is integration. Why market, market? internal within Uganda, regional within East Africa, then Africa. But then you can also negotiate better with the bigger markets outside. Because if you have got a big market of your own, you can go to the Americans and you say, if you don't give me this, I will also not give you this. So this big market helps us also, also to negotiate better for access to other markets. So this is point number one. Number two, Strategic security. How can we be secure? Because you see the terrorism. In Somalia, there's a problem, it affects Kenya. There is a problem in Congo, it affects uh, Uganda. There's a problem in Uganda, it affects uh, Congo. And yet we don't work together to solve these problems. The problems are pan-Africanist, they are global, but we act parochially. How shall we manage? If, if the problems are Pan-Africanist, we must be also Pan-Africanist in handling them. This is the second word in integration, strategic security. Finally, fortunately, as His Excellency Uhuru said, for us, actually, things are very easy. There's a third word, brotherhood, undugu. These people are trying to unite. Are they really very difficult to unite? But they are, they are similar people. Mulembe. Makua. Aha. I'm sitting I'm with that man there. He's a lawyer from Western Kenya. You can go into DRC. I can go to Bunya and address a public meeting in my local language, and they will hear what I'm saying. Bunya in Congo. President Kagame can go to Ruchuru and speak in Rwanda, and people will, 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 will understand him. Ruchuru is a, is a, a part of, of Congo. My daughter here, the minister, can go and speak Luo in Mahagi. Paul, they will understand what, what, what she said. You, you must have heard people during the olden days, they used to say that Idi Amin was a Congolese, was a Sudanese. It is partly true. Because Idi Amin's tribe, the Kakwa, go deep into, into, into Congo, the, the Kakwa. So first of all, there are these, here in, in, in Kenya, the Bateso, they are here, the, 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 the Luyas, uh, the Moyes tribe, the Karenjin, they are, they are, they are in Uganda. The, the Turkanas, apart from stealing my cows, but...
So these are, these are all linked people. But above all, we have, as His Excellency Kenyatta was saying, we have what Europe does not have, a common language, Swahili. Why don't we use this social infrastructure, historical infrastructure, to work for the other two, 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 two targets, prosperity and strategic security? And then you, 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 you happen to be lucky to, to also have the social historical infrastructure of, of, of culture and above all, a common language. In Europe, you saw what, what the problem they had about what language do you use? English, German, Francais. They are a bit stuck. That's why they cannot move as fast. But here we don't have that problem. The, the, I want to help his excellency Kenyatta. The quotation he made here, he, he missed out one something. This was the debate in 1963 about the East African Federation in the parliament of Uganda. There was a man called Ab Mayanja who, who had a, a speech problem, speaking with the lip, 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 lisping, lisping. The people who say fa, fa instead of s. Over me, we call it in our language. If you don't have it in Swahili, I will give you the Neno Labara. Over me. This man was speaking over me, Ab Mayanja. So he was criticizing your body. Because of, you know, we're moving on the East African Federation. Then your body started developing you called feet. So Ab Mayanja said in, in his speech, some people, Thumb, he was speaking like that. Thumb people want to remain big feces in small ponds. That's it, was, it is a big fish in a small pond. But he said it in, in that funny manner. I thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, President uh, Museveni, and we really want to thank you for your very enduring commitment to integration in East Africa and beyond. Uh, may I now invite President uh, Paul Kagame, the President of Rwanda, to make some remarks. Excellencies, uh, President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, President uh, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, and uh, President uh, Felix uh, Chisekedi Chilombo. As uh, I think uh, President Museveni said, the main duty has been performed uh, by and between uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta and President Chisekedi. Ours was to witness and welcome the signing of uh, DRC uh, being integrated in uh, this African uh, community. And uh, we are just here to do that. Uh, but uh, our leaders have already spoken. I just uh, be brief by saying that, uh, Your Excellencies, we have uh, made very many speeches in our years in the recent past and beyond. I think uh, we just have to get down to do the work that uh, uh, is entailed in the statements we have made to our people of our individual countries, as well as the East African community. 
and uh, I am with you all the way to achieving the objectives of uh, the deeper and wider integration of our community. So thank you, President, for inviting us to be here. And uh, thank you, the people of Kenya, for hosting us and with the warm hospitality we have been accorded. Thank you very much. Shukran Zathati kwa mwishmua Rais Yoli Museveni, Rais wa Jemura Uganda, na mwishmua Paul Kagame, Rais wa Jemura Rwanda. I know Musambri wish to invite the Honorable Secretary General, Dr. Peter, to read uh, the communique uh, which the President Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, President Chikedi have signed, uh, cementing admission of the DRC to the EAC. Welcome, Secretary General. Thank you very much. Signing of the Treaty of Accession of the Democratic Republic of Congo to the Treaty for the Establishment of the East African Community, the community reads. The Excellency is President Uhuru Kenyatta of the Republic of Kenya and the Chairperson of the East African Community Heads of State Summit and President Felix Antoinette Shikedi Shirombo of Democratic Republic of Congo of this Friday, 8th April, 2022, signed the Treaty of Accession of Democratic Republic of Congo to the Treaty for the Establishment of the East African Community in attendance at the signing ceremony at the State House, Nairobi, where their excellencies, President Yorika Guta Museveni, Republic of Uganda, President Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda, delegates from the East African Community Partner States, development partners, representatives from the private sector, and members of the diplomatic corps, the heads of state met signed the Treaty of Accession in a warm and cordial atmosphere. The excellencies recalled that the 19th extraordinary meeting of the summit of the East African community heads of state held on 29th March, 2022, designated His Excellency President Uru Kenyatta to sign the Treaty of Accession of the Democratic Republic of Congo to the Treaty for the Establishment of the East African Community on behalf of the summit. His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta congratulated His Excellency President Felix Antoine Shishkedi Shirombo and the people of the Democratic Republic of Congo for admission into the East African community. Their Excellencies, the heads of state noted that the entry of Democratic Republic of Congo into the East African community was beneficial to the people of Democratic Republic of Congo and to the East African people. His Excellency President Felix Antoine Shishkedi Shirombo appreciated the decision of the summit to admit Democratic Republic of Congo into the East African community. His Excellency President Felix Shirombo observed that the Democratic Republic of Congo admission into the East African community was the fulfillment of dreams held by the country's ancestors more than 60 years ago, adding that it, was, it marked a decisive shift in the country's foreign and economic policy. His Excellency President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta reiterated directive of the summit of the council to expeditiously develop a roadmap for the integration of Democratic Republic of Congo into the activities, programs, and projects of the East African community. His Excellency President Felix Antonio Shikedi Shirombo of the Democratic Republic of Congo thanks His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta of the Republic of Kenya for the warm and cordial hospitality extended to him and his delegation during their stay in Nairobi. Dana State House Nairobi this eighth day of April 2022 signed Uru Kenyatta President of the Republic of Kenya and the chairperson of the East African Community Summit signed by Felix Anthony Shikedi Shirombo, President of Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you. Shukran sana mkurugenzi mkuu kwa ujumbe huo. Nafasi sasa kwa heshima ningependa kumwalika Mheshimiwa Uru Kenyatta na Mheshimiwa Felix uh, 
Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kidemokrasia ya Kongo ili tuweze kuingia katika nafasi ya kuzindua ramani mpya ambayo sasa itakuwa ni uso wa jumu ya Afrika Mashariki. Wale marais wengine vile vile watafata ili kuweza kushuhudia. Welcome your excellencies. Wengine nitaomba tuketi so that the cameras at the back can have a good view. Thank you for understanding. Let us appreciate uh, Let us give a more hearty clap to the East African community. We have a Burundi, DRC Congo, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania, and our neighbors, Uganda. Let us give more hearty clap to the country's uh, East African community. It is a new dawn to the community. Thank you so much, Your Excellencies. You may return to your seat, sir. I will request uh, His Excellency to allow us to have a set of three photos. And uh, I will seek the indulgence of the ADCs if they will be kind enough to, for a minute, leave the dais. The ADCs kindly. The rest, the household also to help me move uh, the small table. On that interlude, the band kindly, the band, on that interlude. Thank you so much. That will be our first photo of the Excellency's Head of State. I will seek the okay, yes, for a minute. I can remove the masks for a minute. I will request that the chairperson, the SG, and the judge president and the speaker to be ready to frank for the second photo. The chairperson, the secretary general, the judge president, and the speaker to be ready for the second photo. A minute for the first photo, a minute for the first photo, a minute, sir. Thank you, they can now join, kindly flank, their excellencies. The chairperson, the secretary general, the judge president and the speaker. That will be our second photo, Your Excellency. 
kindly get closer you're too far can can you get closer thank you i also wish to request the third photo as the second team exits all the ambassadors and the high commissioners who are present they also join their excellencies as our last and the third photo thank you sir they can exit the secretariat honorable uh, member uh, ambassadors members of diplomatic corps and uh, the high commissioners ambassadors present Thank you so much. I will request the ESC um, um, ambassadors to, to be left. If they are there. Yes, they are there. Kindly. ESC ambassadors. They'll be followed. Uh, I'm requested to give the last one for the Mawaziri Wote for ESC. It will be our last one after that one. Thank you. I'll request all the cabinet secretaries, Mawaziri Wote, YEC. EAC members, cabinet secretaries, eh? Ama mawaziri wa Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki. Vile vile mawaziri wetu. All ministers, mawaziri wote. Thank you. Kutoka nchi za Afrika Mashariki. Jumuiya. Mawaziri Wakurugenzi wa private sector, I'm requested you also have the last one, private sector, kindly. Wawakilishi wa the private sector, karibu nisa. Iyala members Iyala members The Yala members. Shukran, Asante Sana. Nitaomba sote sasa tusimame. Tumefika kilele cha sherehe yetu ya siku ya leo. Wape nafasi wajumbe, wachukue nafasi zao. Ili tuweze kuwa wima kwa wimbo wa taifa wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na wimbo wa Jamhuri ya Afrika Mashariki. Wimbo wa taifa. <tos> 